pardon my itchiness. I got bit by some kind of bug on the way over here. It was wearing a waistcoat. Anyway, let's talk about the woggle bug, the module. The woggle bug can be used as a crude frequency to voltage device or pitch tracker, which can be a really fun way to generate pitches from whatever audio source you might like to use. We discussed this once before on the channel way back in 2014 with the Make Noise Wired Woggle Bug. The Woggle Bug can be used as a crude frequency to voltage device. But today, let's try it out with the Richter Woggle Bug as it appears in the black and gold shared system. Here's the Woggle VCO output. It sounds wild. If we turn the ego id control to full ego, the smooth section stays at its minimum value. The woggle section will attempt to lock to the frequency of whatever we put in the influence input. I'm going to go ahead and note ahead of time that the woggle bug is not amazing at this task. It can sometimes follow the general contour and motion of melodies, but it is not super accurate or wide ranging. However, it can lead to some interesting results and is also just fun to experiment with. So here's a square wave from the DPO. Instead of monitoring this, let's monitor the Woggle VCO out as it follows the DPO. We patch the DPO square wave into the influence input. Below a certain frequency, it kind of fails to track. The Woggle CV output also follows the pitch of the signal. Here's VCO A. And here it is controlled by the Woggle CV output. So we're using VCO B to control the pitch of VCO A, but not hearing VCO B directly. Here's the Woggle VCO again. Let's use both at once. We'll tune them together. and sequence. With Renee. Turning down the woggle size can make it follow more quickly, but also with more woggling per change. Turning up towards id, add some random into it. We can rein this in by clocking it alongside the sequence. Escape this Optimix. Turn this into individual notes. For 
for reference, here's the final output from VCOB, which is what the uh, Woggle VCO and VCOA are following. Let's also try using something other than a VCO. Here's a little loop of me playing the dobro. Short enough clip that you probably can't tell how bad I am at it. Let's molt it to the influence input. While also monitoring it. Woggle CV on into the DPO Volper Octave. I think this is really helped along by using the Morphogenes envelope follower on the CV output to also control the DPO's amplitude. It helps the two sounds mesh together a little better. Let's FM it with the Woggle VCO as well. going to hear this and believe that the DPO is actually playing the same exact melody as this loop, but it does follow its contour in some way anyway and could be useful when designing complex sounds.